Alright, a little bit of an exciting day for us today. We're heading into Perth, so we haven't seen a major city in a good seven months since we're down in Melbourne. So we're pretty pretty excited. I'm sure after a couple of extra months we're probably getting over it, but we're just so, so keen to be in the city, have everything we need. It's been so long to have all the luxuries, the big retail outlets. Again, we love being remote as you can be, but you sort of need that balance and we're definitely going to get that around here. A lot of state parks. We're about to sort of be at the state parks, four drive, all the stuff we love back in the city. So this is going to be us for the next, uh, what are we in at the moment? This is, what month is it? October. October. Yeah, the end of October. So we're, we're going to be here till start of Gen. So we've got quite a fair bit of time around here. But heading into town today, if you've been following the channel, we had some GoPro issues. It flooded a GoPro 8. First time we put it underwater and it lasted about 10 seconds. So we, this is why we've been filming one GoPro uh, for the last probably three episodes. It's been a, been a pain in the ass. So we thought stuff it. We had SD card issues. We're starting again. So we've gone and got uh, two GoPro 10s. Uh, Holly Banu gear, which we're going to pick up now. We've got to deliver to Mad Inc. Uh, they're the car details that's doing our car, um, giving a nice cut and polish before we go to the 4x4 show. Uh, the freaking patrol's running out of fuel. Um, and then we're going to pick up some new bush barriers. Uh, that's getting sent to the 4x4 mechanic. Uh, again, this is all to freshen things up uh, after the show. Then we're going to be uh, we're going to be at a caravan park, and which is going to be nice. We have I currently have no jocks on, just so, <laughs> just so, so you know. We're I haven't run, washed my hair in like four weeks. We're running extremely <laughs> low, so we're actually blessed to be at a caravan park. Do even wash and catch up for a drive trip this weekend, which is going to be a different episode. But then also tomorrow we're going to go drop the bike off at Bunbury. And that's going to start getting freshened up and get ready for the new one. So plenty of exciting stuff happening gone down to the 4x4 mechanic and picked up our new bush barrier so there's gonna be nice and fresh we didn't really change the design up uh, we put the bush barrier logo on there but what we did do is we went a little bit of a darker gray so it matches the car a little bit more so really keen to pop this open and see see what it looks like I'm bloody stoked with that come in Kayla get a, get a good look there it's a bit hard in the dark but it's pretty much it's a nice uh, nice dark gray color which is what we're looking for we're not gonna fully unpack these we got gonna use the our old ones for this weekend once the car gets cleaner, they're like, going to chuck these on. We don't want to risk getting mud and stuff on them. So these have been looking nice and fresh for the show. Cannot wait to get these on and see what it looks like on the car. And what do we have here? Something very exciting. All the new goods. New GoPros. Get it out, you can't see it. GoPros, cool. We got two. Two, two GoPros. What else do we get? Um, oh, battery charger station. Yeah, some covers, some media mods. Media. And the main thing out of here, how this all started, <laughs> was this. Of a, Waterproof cover. We flooded our flooded our GoPro. Ended up having a fit of SD card trip troubles now. So we're like, nah, we're starting again. Waterproof. So waterproof. Two new two new GoPros. So now we've got we've oh, got four all up, but only three work. So I got to get rid of the other one. Super selfie. Stick. Big ass selfie pot uh, selfie stick there. So just gonna take these YouTube videos to the next level. We're about to get more. We're gonna be trying again keep these weekly videos going and a bit more vlog style and all that of just what it looks like living on the road with traveling campers. Well, we have made it to Perth. I've always been telling Michaela for ages there. Uh, I've always wanted to have a pool in my front yard and look what we got. Just over the front there, got some nice palm trees, a nice swimming pool with the van. We've got a bit of garage side <laughs> down the side here. The reason the cars are here at the moment, we're in Perth. We're getting ready for the, the Perth full drive adventure show. So this is quite exciting. This is our first full drive show. We did our uh, caravan show in Melbourne. We had the uh, Lotus there with the Lotus guys. I uh, had absolute amazing. It was a four day show and it was quite massive. So it's expecting this to be huge over It's going to be huge for uh, me and Michaela. Huge for Travelling Camp as our brand. So really, really excited. It's been quite a big hype up and a lot of people saying they're saying they're going to be a lot of YouTube fans, a lot of Instagram fans. So we're extremely excited. So we just had to go down now. The car's down there. We're, this is sort of a bit of a, a lead up and we're going to show you what's sort of going behind the scenes to get ready for our first show and what sort of what that sort of looks like and then obviously uh we're going to show you take you to the show and so you can be there we'll be there with us and see what the what the stand's going to look like uh you know what we're sort of going to be doing over the weekend and show you around uh, a bit of the shows a bit of a bit of the uh, other brands and stuff and just sort of yeah for the guys that can't make it obviously queensland and also quick have a couple of queensland to come but victorians and that unfortunately have to miss out this year so the car's getting cut and polished down at uh, a place called Mad Ink. So a couple of people on Instagram uh, recommended these guys. We went down there, like they've got Bentleys and Porsches and stuff sitting there. So I think it's in really good hands. So we're going to, we've got the brand new bush barriers that we've uh, just put on the other day. So that's actually going to be covering it. But while we're in Perth, we've had quite a few scratches, quite a few big scratches actually just from uh, over our travels and stuff. We, we try to keep the cars neat as we can. So give that a nice bit of love. Hopefully that's going to come up pretty good. So about to jump in the car now. Uh, go pick that up and see what it looks like. Cool. 
couple of familiar faces here. What's uh, happening? Nothing. <laughs> oh, Trump and Camp, it's mentioned me in their story. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh. Chance of seeing you guys over here, mate. Oh, no. Welcome to the alfresco. Yeah, look at this. Oh. Oh, hello, there's a camera. Does Sharon know about that? Hey. <laughs> hey look here, you got the bloody, you bring, you bring your own pot plants. <laughs> <laughs> so it's 4.30 here, so it's 5.36, it's 7 o'clock. It's like perfectly <laughs> fine to have a drink. And you bought the tent, did you, mate? Well, <laughs> this is just a... Uh, um, the bachelor set up. Yeah, oh, that's the bachelor. I'll give you a tour. The pot, there you go. All right, all right so this is the alfresco. Uh, yeah. Outdoor kitchen. Mm -hmm. We'll get, uh, if I got the... Uh, Alright, so this is the induction cooking. We'll get the plate out of there. So uh, we could probably whip you up some garlic prawns or um, maybe, um, uh, I don't know, we could do... Lobster? Uh, a bigger pan, but we could possibly <laughs> some yabbies or something. So this is, the, yeah, the alfresco with uh, supplementary lighting. Then you can Perfect. come around to the uh, the... Well, basically, this is where all the, the scenery is. This <laughs> yes, is the, the so you've tried it for the, you're in the high ice. Uh, oh, the high, I didn't see the high ice. That's the view that way. Um, and then under here, we've got this is like, uh, what would you call this? The lounge room. This is like the, yeah, I guess the lounge, Perfect. office, bachelor yeah. pad. There and, you go. Um, yeah, I don't know if I made my bed, but... Oh, up to there, up to the work, <laughs> workbench up there. Oh, <laughs> yeah, like, I've made it, actually. Look at that. <laughs> it's like my jocks hanging from the ceiling there. I don't know. So, oh, bloody perfect. What are you doing here for the show, mate? What's going on? We're going to be down in the content creator stage. Mm -hmm. um, and to be honest, I've got to go catch up with Ronnie because I've heard about Indeflates and I'm told, like Max Trash just told me that, that he's the guy that talks about them. So I'm going to go check them out. Cool. I need to buy a new jockey wheel because the one on on the uh the pod is shagged so we'll get a new one of them Perfect. and i've got no idea whether we're going on stage or panel or what's happening this year but i'll be there mm. the car is all clean now do you notice yes i did see that did you do that yourself mate yeah i well, i went i drove it down <laughs> to um and like where all the sponges are in the water and basically i gave a guy 200 bucks and he did it <laughs> <laughs> so oh it's just come up well she's all clean again very very well a couple of bruises though yes is that from the weekend yeah i don't want to really look at these oh i think i'm not too bad a bit of a scratch from the weekend what about you mate what's your what's your role here i'm you support crew support crew yeah <laughs> you just so wanted a week a couple, a couple of days away didn't you i'm, I'm just like the jockey wheel fitter and all that <laughs> it's the, like the backup car so, well actually we both brought to a car the Uber driver <laughs> because if i break my car Chances are, hopefully, we can go home in Charlie's. But if Charlie breaks his car, we go home in mine. <laughs> mine goes on the truck. Uh, that's exactly right. It's uh, it's been a bit of a relief having some having some faces from back over east. So Charlie's about to actually Uber me right down now. We're gonna go pick up the car. guys here at Madding have absolutely nailed this. Have a friggin' look at this. It's like a mirror. I don't want to bloody, I don't want to bloody touch it. They've just absolutely nailed this. I've been having two blokes I've worked on it all day just getting it ready for us. So it's actually a little bit of shame. I'm gonna have to go put the put the bush berries over the top of it. Look at this shine in there. This is friggin' cool. For the, for the things we put this car through, the scratchy tracks to the mud to the rocks, there's hundreds and hundreds, thousands of Ks of rocks and dust and that. For it to still look like this. I'm freaking stoked. It's going to be looking absolutely flash for the for the show. Well, I'm absolutely blown away by the work here from the guys at Mad Inc. Absolutely stoked. This thing looks like it's just come off the freaking showroom floor. So I'm going to be very, very nervous taking this thing out to the out to the bush after this. You always do it after a nice, nice cut and polish or a nice wash. So we're off to Tire Plus in Wanneroo tomorrow. We've got uh, f five new uh, KM3s going on there just so the tires are nice and fresh for the show. Uh, and then we're going to put the bush barriers back on and I think we're pretty damn close to close to being ready So this thing is going to be looking absolutely top-notch for the show we just arrived in at tire plus at Wanneroo So these are the guys are uh, our cars actually be on the stand with them, the BF Goodridge uh, and the tire plus guys So 
We've got our five new 325, 65, 18 BFG KM3 Muddies. So these, these tires in the car actually still still pretty good, but just like everything, wanna wanna make sure the cars look nice and good, tires are nice and fresh, uh, and trying to make the most of while we're in while we're in a city because once we sort of leave Perth, we're gonna be back out into those remote part of Australia again. So always love a fresh set of tires. These things look so freaking cool. So we're gonna get a get a wheel alignment, all that stuff done while we're here too, which has been uh, well overdue. So let's do it. Massive shout out to the crew here at Tire Plus and Wanneroo. They've done an absolute friggin' amazing job. Finally got a new wheel alignment. This is a bit stuff we kind of been a little bit lazy. It's sort of done 20,000 Ks, usually every 10,000, but really stretched it out because it's been hard to find someone, especially someone good on the road to get these sort of things done, especially being up uh, up north remote. So the car's officially ready to go. There's just something about having new tires. It's just, I just I, they just look so freaking tough and I'm gonna be a little baby when we're on the tracks for the, probably the first maybe a couple hundred Ks and I'll, then I'll get over and we'll be, we'll be smashing back into it. So she's all good to go. We're gonna do one last little bit of a wipe over tomorrow of the car. This thing's come up so good considering where we've been with this thing and how dirty and muddy it's been especially just after the last weekend it was absolutely covered in mud so it's so nice to see and i'm really excited to have the big y62 patrol the traveling campus y62 patrol part of its first full drive show today is thursday and we're going to drop the car off at the show so this is it for a couple of days having a car all to ourselves uh so yeah we're gonna go and drop it off and see everyone else is setting up living the uber life yeah we will be <laughs> Hey, we just got to drop our car off at the BF Goodridge stand. Sure, you know where they are? Uh, yeah, like, I've got a map on here, amazing. so I'll find it. <laughs> sure, and then yeah. you can either walk out this way or the other way. Okay, sure. cool. Thank you. Thank you. How exciting is this? We've got the car under the tenny. The setup down here is just looking so freaking good. We've got, uh, got the big tenny, got Bo Robinson's trophy truck just over there. That's just marked high car, that thing's going. That's, <laughs> that's not gonna be here. I'll flip this camera around and give you a look through. Don't know if I've done this on purpose, but they've left. Uh, we've just put new tires in the car. We're down to 35 inch tires, 30, uh, 325, 65, 18. I just don't know. I don't know. I can't look at this all weekend. They've got a big, big bloody 37 inch tire uh, sitting right there. This is something we were going to look at doing, but <laughs> now they've just got it sitting right there. It's just, just teasing me. But one day we might go to 37s. We'll, uh, we'll see how we go. But it's got Michaela in here doing some uh, finishing, some finishing touches. It's looking good, isn't it? Yeah. Freaking, this is literally a showroom spec. <laughs> looking funny. great. Got the, got the new bush barriers on, new tires. Uh, meant to have some new rims, but that's going to be coming in. Next month, what else are we done? We've got the uh, uh, extra tracks recovery boards. Cut and polish. On the rear, yeah, cut and polish from the guys from Mad Inc. The thing has just come up just so shiny. We've got some, got, still got a couple little uh, marks going on here. Got some nasty stuff there. Because as you know, we do get out and use this thing. But to see it in this sort of condition uh, is friggin', friggin' awesome. So give me a bit of a look around here. The display, it's looking awesome. There's RH down there. The TV, we're going to chuck some uh, YouTube videos up on there, hopefully. It's got some different tyres on display. Got the new Michelin, Michelin Trail, this is a new tyre that's, new tyre that's coming out there, which is cool. Some 20s. Bit of a sit down area, and then we've got this read. Go Bo Robinson's trophy truck, this is what he drove in fingers. <laughs> It's gonna be the last uh, last show it's gonna be, and I think they're gonna be doing doing a new truck. Have a look at the size of the wheels on this freaking thing. Absolutely work of art, this thing. We're in the best position. We've got the content creator stand just over there. We've got Lotus Caravans of uh, George Day and that right there. So all the sort of stands we're sort of gonna be. Be chopping and changing. We've all all in the same spot, so we're actually right behind uh, ARB as well, which we've got some stuff in, the, uh, in there with Navigator, and we've got a bit of a roof rack coming for the car too. So we're gonna have a, a, few, 
yeah, a few little changes come for the car as well. So show-wise, we're in the absolute uh, absolute best spot. Well, that's a quick little rundown. We've um, just finished off, final little touches here. Then we're, we're heading back to the van park and then into it tomorrow, a big, big three days. So we're going to show you around uh, the show tomorrow, show you some of the major stands, show you what's going on. We're talking from 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. each day. So we're going to be talking about our travels, about traveling campers, uh, a little bit about the tires as well. So we'll keep you posted and uh, yeah, we'll see you in the morning. All right, we're deep into day one and finally got a little bit of a break. It's nearly like three o'clock. I think, I think it's died down because it's like school pickup time. Yeah, so, <laughs> so on the so Friday. The parents will be. It's been an absolute flat chat day. So they've been selling plenty of tires here. So much people coming and looking at the looking at the car. I think the bush barriers have been the biggest yeah, biggest hit. The bush barriers, today, yeah. bush barriers, the tires and the uh, upper control arms, all the build stuff we got yeah. on there. Seems to be the sort of hot property. So we gave you a little bit of run around yesterday of the of the camp. So we're gonna we're gonna, gonna go a bit of a look around. So we're gonna Lotus Caravans is literally just next door to us. So let's go have a little bit of a cheeky in cheeky hi. look in some of the vans. They've got a bit of a, a bit of a display going on here, but this is going into the sandy top. We're going to show you outside in a minute. So this is a 18.9 foot trooper. And you're, what are you liking in here? Uh, colors. It's nice and big. Get out of your bloody matte colors. You want the matte colors, don't you? I like the matte. Colors. Mikhail likes the matte colors, and I like the gloss colors. That's so a bit of a the, touchy so we, subject. So we, com so we compromise and get the gloss colors. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, happy, happy husband, happy, happy life. So let's give yeah, let's look at a couple of rundowns over here. Can we Kayla show you through the kitchen? Just swing around. Oh yeah. Yeah, go on, go on, run Bathroom down, or kitchen? Uh my well, yeah, I was going to the kitchen. Bathroom. Yeah. Um so they've got the two kilo washing machine. Washing machine. Oh, yeah. Nice and compact. Very good. Yeah, the 89 sort of a it's a good size, isn't it? It's it really, is a really good size. Still got a nice size shower, nice size bathroom, Long and drawers. you still sort of get your yeah. Get your north south bed that a lot of people love. We got the east west bed, and it's a sort of a love love hate thing there. It's sort of personal personal choice. Your big windows, nice plenty of yeah, fridge. big fridge, plenty of plenty of kitchen space, little, which little is that pantry down here. Which is what you want. So but yeah, it seems to be quite a quite a few people here. But I think the exciting one this band is the new sandy top color. So let's go yeah. outside and uh, check that out. So this is it. This is a sandy top color, and I got to admit, on online the samples they got online, it's very different. It looks so different to what it looks yep. like in person. So this is a, I actually I really, really like, like it. it. But do we go a sandy top cruiser to go with it though, or no. <laughs> we wouldn't do that? Well, actually, diesel. yeah, in person this thing, especially with the black decals and that, it, uh, it actually looks really good. So yeah. it's a little bit, especially if you're going to be looking at it, it's definitely got to get down to uh, one of your deals or something. There's quite a few of these yeah, floating around now. I've got a Got a 20.3 over there as well in the sandy sandy tall as well. This one's got the got the method wheels, so let's go and have a quick look. It's got the sort of uh, coloured rims that are going to match it. So check these bad boys out. Mickey Thompson tyres, which, uh, which you don't want, you want to get a set of BFs on there, but uh, they're having the mud tyres on there with those rims, uh, the sandy tall colour. It's actually got a sandy tall colour car. Uh, yeah. That is an ultimate, together. ultimate combo. Yeah. All right, let's have a little bit of a look through. This is the 23.3 off, ever off have grid. Kids, yeah. This thing is, this thing is huge. We need huge. to get the car to tow it. But this is so nice. Like, we've got to have a look around here. Actually, I'm going to flip the camera around. Be a nice big, uh, big north south bed there. A little bit messy. People just freaking jump on them. Sleep in these things during the days. It shows, I swear. Nice colours. I like the black. This is actually the colour of our, our bench of our bench top. It's exactly what we got there. So it's plenty, plenty of space. We have to walk in there, Mika. It's sort of, it's hard to tell on camera, but there's I, just so much room. You know, what I love about this floor layer is you don't lose your ensuite. Yeah. You still get a nice big ensuite. You don't have to compromise for something tiny just because you've got bunks. Have a look at the shower and triple bunks there. The shower's gigantic. Have a look at that. That's... You could easily, if you have a little one, you could easily fit a little. Watch a golden retriever. Porta, porta bath. <laughs> <laughs> no, a little porta bath in there. Into your triple bunks there. Little kids' own little bedroom. Have all their hang up their clothes and stuff in there. Bit of storage. And you've got your washing machine. Still get your big washing machine there. Wash all your clothes, plus the kids, a bit of a mirror around there. Again, you, you do lose a little bit of bench space on the kitchen here, obviously. But it's still comfortable Something has enough to get, but for there a is, family to be getting ready. Oh yeah, family can get ready in here, absolutely. Yeah. And into your, into your dining, your dinner, breakfast and stuff, massive area in here. 
and then mum and dad still get the the big workbench at the end there so this is a this is again this has been a hot property this 23.3 for a lot of families and actually there's a quad a quad bunk as well can't you in the 23.3 well it's still it's still three beds but the bottom bed can be turned into a, about a not quite a double bed yeah so yeah. there's a few different so few two, different layouts there but the bed down the bottom. yeah that gives you a good little look there so we're gonna have a quick little peek in this troop over here because it's got a couple little new things with the tires and wheels and that uh, then we're going to move on how good do those methods look they're an 18 inch uh, rim they've got a 275 70 18 tire on it so it's quite a big tire but it's uh it looks freaking awesome so you got the cruise master atx suspension that comes down these are in a uh, specific uh, lotus Lotus green color, they them green arms look freaking awesome. Yeah, this is again the sandy cool. top. The sandy top's really, really doing it for me. So this is Michaela's sort of. I love this layout. <clears throat> you love this layout. It's got the rear door because you just walk in. Have a look at this. Is this? You've got your own bedroom down the back there. Just it's straight in. You get your kitchen, land room. Walk into your living area instead of walking into your bedroom. Yeah, it feels just like a like a house. Like a house. You have got mum and dad's bedroom down here. Uh, then you can yeah, you've got your fan, your TV and stuff. Uh, Aircon's nice and close to the. To the bed and your freaking pantry yeah you love your pantry big domestic fridge you know plenty of plenty of room along here for storage overhead these things these things come with a 400 amp uh, battery system standard uh, these things only have 160 kilo ball weight as well uh, on this stand you got your red arc the red arc red vision battery system these come with the the Enerdrive batteries then all your red arc gear there and then into the into the bathroom here. Huge shower. Massive, massive shower, which is good. That's actually, that's a, is that a bit more than standard? I was about to say. Yeah, might be a touch bigger. About the same, yeah. You actually don't mind these colors, eh? Nice big, nice big bench space in there. So yeah. this would really be your van. You obviously two people, no bunks in this, but this would really be the van, uh, especially if you wanted to live in it or do long trips. Uh, obviously you could have the vehicle to tow it. It's a little bit of a bigger, little bit bigger van, but this is sort of really the, the perfect lay. If you wanted a little bit bigger than your 19.6, uh, this, this is perfect. this is the number. Yep. Welcome to day two, guys. We've just popped over to the ARB tent right behind us. Just checking out this base rack up here on top of the 79. Um, oh, it just looks nice. <laughs> How good does that look? By the time this episode comes out, yeah, I reckon we'll it's going it. to be on the car. So <laughs> we're going to roof rack. It's been so long we've had a, without one, but now we're traveling full time. We want to have that awning life and put the recovery boards up there. We never thought we needed one, but now that we're traveling full time, you know, yeah. beach trips. And a that. massive light bar. Yeah. <laughs> we already got that organized. Troy from X-Ray Vision, so he was straight on it straight away. So let's have a bit of a look around. Oh, I've got a special guest today. Look yeah, at we, this. We got someone here. Look today. what we've um, smuggled in. <laughs> <laughs> George is going, we left her in the caravan all day yesterday, and we sort of caught other people had. Absolutely fine. Amazing. Yeah, Michaela went and checked on at lunchtime, had a few people that uh, had their dogs in yesterday. So, so we, she's well, coming in, she's well behaved, so she's going to. can do it. She's going to sit behind the stand, so she's in there eating grass like a little cow. It's probably going to be our favourite stand at the whole show. You guys know how much we love our Navigator gear and Georgia especially too. <laughs> Shopping. She loves all their dog stuff. What's your favourite? What's your favourite part? What's your favourite Navigator? My favourite, yeah. honestly, the hammock has been an absolute lifesaver. Yeah. It keeps our car clean, keeps Georgia um, safe like when we're four wheel driving. She's in there securely. She doesn't, you know, going downhill, it stops her from falling into the front of us and all that so yeah we we love all the gear though morning morning how are you, how are you recording me? <laughs> yes <laughs> how, how are you feeling <laughs> you look a little bit flat i am exhausted <laughs> did you go out last night no oh. well, we went for dinner at the camp field and then we went home but there you go i'm spent <laughs> sure, we're about the same <laughs> got our fellow lotus ambassador. ambassadors here yeah. with got a some new truck lap in the island this thing is just ridiculous I mean, how, how, how tall am I? How tall am I? Yeah, I'm six one. Look at that. There's a boat on top as well. Yeah, let me go back. <laughs> she's a she's a she's a big girl. So this thing is. Michaela, awesome. stand next to the bonnet. It's taller than me. <laughs> it's all about the bonnet height these days. So this thing is an absolute beast. And you guys are heading off tonight. Tonight. 6 p.m. Yeah. I'm tonight. out of here. It's Three o'clock. I'm going to do some food shopping. Beautiful. Pick up little ones. And yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Have you even ran this thing in yet? Or is it? <laughs> no. <Nope. laughs> I've had 10Ks on it. 
It's just absolutely, it's an absolute monster. What size is your van? Uh, 23.3. 23.3, so she's a, a very long program all up, but these guys are traveling around full time. Well, that's a nice view. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, isn't it? The battery Fresh. went flat last night. Yeah, it's been a lot of, a lot of flat batteries <laughs> coming around this morning. Down to 1%. Oh, no. <laughs> what do you got running off that? It's just all the, the, fridge. the fridge and all that, just, yeah. Just one fridge, no solar. Yeah, yeah, under the shady yeah, is no, no good. Yeah, you're not charging that up. <laughs> That's a very nice system, though. Good work. You excited to head off tonight? Ah, uh, super excited. Yeah, bloody oath. <laughs> Bring on the end of the show. I oh, know. Yeah, <laughs> I'm glad it's only. A, it's so good. But I'm glad it's only a three day show. If yeah. it's any more, it'd be um, it'd be a bit too much. I am knackered. I know. <laughs> this thing's awesome, man. You've uh, you've done well. Thank you. Have a look at this freaking rig. They got a big uh, military section here. There's about three trucks on display. The size of these tires and these things is absolutely magic. Mark from uh, from Mitchell and the BF Goodridge is telling me the cost of these things and that of how much the amount of military is sort of how many they they like they go through, and how much they order, and uh, how how big the, the construction of these tires, like and all the stuff they have inside. They can literally be shot out and still keep still keep driving. It's uh it's it's pretty pretty bloody full on. So see this thing in person. It's um. It's kind of scary that one's got all the big stuff with the guns and up on top and just you know knowing that they've uh they've been in action before but yeah this is a this is a serious 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 bit of kids so we're, the show's just about over it's actually closed close about 15 minutes this is sunday afternoon we've finally found some time to time to get away it's been nearly i know yes i don't know the say it was nearly seventeen thousand people yesterday which was a bit of a record i think so it's been uh, absolutely magic the weather has, has just turned it on so we're just going around doing the last sort of run arounds and saying good day to people and uh showing you showing you around let's have a little peek at the new 300s here and i don't know i don't i don't mind the 200s but i know a lot of it's about that uh about that bonnet height but look at that that's like that's like belly button height like that's bloody prius spec you need to need to up it up it a little bit more than that but we've been getting a lot of people been coming through saying they've um coming around looking at patrols and looking at cruises and stuff and a lot of 200 owners that aren't actually aren't too aren't too impressive and again we, we love the 200 we love the 79 heaps of mates of them awesome awesome kits but just think these things just look really really sort of small so I sort of go and chase that sort of Kluger uh, SUV style and sort of uh, what they've done with the back door and that here I don't know it's just it's going to be very interesting a few people have been putting some deposits and that down I think they're not going to see them for like 12 months or something so it's quite a quite crazy but yeah it's good to it's good to see it in person as all the being all the hype and all that and obviously they're going to the going to the v6 and that but yeah it's gonna be very interesting once people start actually you know doing them up doing lifts tires bars all that stuff and sort of see see how they're going to perform out in the uh, out in the real life conditions but yeah sort of interesting yeah again we're not just because we've got a patrol doesn't mean we we we, we love toyota's we got again like i said we, we love the 200s love the 79s have friends with them we're not don't like that stuff at all, you know that compassion whatever but yeah it's if it was me, I'd be keeping me 200. It's on my Scrounger series rig rundown. Oh, yeah. <laughs> do you want to do one? Let's do an outside one. Yeah. <laughs> outside rig rundown. Only. It's not, it's not unlocked. Two different owners. Not five at all. Oh, what an awesome weekend. That is a wrap. Three days. Long as hell, but this oh, so, so good. good. We, so were just, good. we were just blown away by just... I guess oh, the, the support we have support. in WA. Yeah, the, like, w, the we, WA we support. Didn't WA fans are the best fans. Yeah. I reckon the West is best. Yeah, the, the YouTube, the inside, is everyone that yeah supports the channel and follows along. It's just yeah, thank you. Consistent all day. We're absolutely blown away. So this is the first time we've had the had the car here uh, at the four, at a four drive show and yeah with the BF guys. That are, Awesome, awesome display. So yeah, we've just been absolutely spoiled. So that's a little, good little look into a little behind the scenes of yeah. um, what goes on behind a four drive show, and obviously just you know sharing our first experience uh, with you guys. So everything you guys seen is what we did to get organised. And yeah, the car came up really good, and just yeah, the whole weekend couldn't have uh, couldn't gone really smoother. gone couldn't yeah. really gone any better. So we're doing a couple of cheeky knockoff <laughs> knockoff drinks now, and then. Uh, George has been a big hit, so <laughs> it just snuck her in for a couple of days. Oh, so yeah, she slept all day today, so she's got the sillies on now. Yeah, I know she's gonna be full noise. So anyway, guys, thanks here for watching along. Something a little bit different. Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you on the next episode. Cheers.